چشمان قلبم را بکشا چشمان قلبم بکشا تا تو را بینم تا تو را بینم چشمان قلبم را بکشا چشمان قلبم بکشا تا تو را I grew up in a Muslim family. At age 20, I had a very bad depression, and I wanted to kill myself. No matter how much I prayed Muslim prayer, I didn't have a true internal peace, and I still wanted to kill myself, and I wanted to kill the preacher that told me that Jesus was Lord. This is considered blasphemy in my country. When I was in that condition, in the park, two men, shared the gospel with me and they prophesied and that was strange because I believed that the last person God spoke to was Muhammad but to my surprise after a month the prophecy came through I came to know Jesus not long after I became a believer that one night a voice woke me up and said Said, I am coming back soon go preach my gospel. This happened twice, but because I was tired, I fell asleep both times. But the third time, the voice was so powerful that I woke up and I saw a bright light in my room. Because of my great fear, being in God's presence, I said Amen. And from the next day, I started sharing the gospel in streets, universities, and parks. As a result of this street evangelism, some came to accept Christ, but because we did not have a place to meet and because of persecution, we had to secretly meet in the park. Not too long after that, the tens of believers turned into hundreds and reached to almost a thousand believers that gathered in 30 cities in more than 100 underground churches in Iran. And as this ministry started from the capital city of Tehran and extended to the other cities, the believers had this vision to take the gospel to surrounding regions in the Middle East. As the underground church is growing, it faces more persecution. The believers in Christ are outcast in society and abandoned by their family and lose their jobs. Some are thrown in jail and even killed for their faith. These believers need support to be able to get back on their feet. Most of the believers are new believers that need to grow in Christ and be strengthened so they can be able to train and disciple their underground church family and to spread the gospel as the Lord spoke to me and as the Lord commands the church to do today. <laughs> 